my dear post graduate students i today welcome you to a new sub channel which shall be term tips techniques and pathology for students mainly intended for the post graduates all of us know that these techniques are nightmares for us and there have been many a perfectionist such as culling bancroft lynch todd sanford and so on we shall try to achieve some of their perfection so as to do well in our post graduate examinations welcome to tips tips for post graduates in pathology which means techniques in pathology for students and the first class shall be on impregnation and embedding of course all of know where these terms come from histopathology techniques and as usual i dedicate all my classes to the pioneers in these fields culling lynch and bancroft whom we shall never forget this picture is for your comments what do you people see in this picture or couple of pictures and what are your comments of course the bread is being cut into multiple slices but then what is the texture of the bread i find that there are multiple holes in it and it is quite soft such that it will collapse under the dividing knife so also the tissue that has come for processing look at this one when i say tissue there are different types of these i hope you are able to identify it anyway the diagnosis is that it is from a lipoma and this is a part specimen of a lung what i your comments on these one i find is solid it is greasy and it will also collapse under the knife but can withstand to some extent but here the porosity is outstanding and obviously there are too many holes that we can grossly make out microscopically however we should see that there are such holes within the tissue itself not necessarily at the organ level so these all will collapse under the microtome blade so care has to be taken to fill these holes with a proper supporting medium and that is called impregnation so there are two terms in this one is impregnation another is embedding in impregnation the tissue is kept in molten paraffin wax for a period of 6 to 8 hours and then there can be subsequent changes two or three changes of the wax this provides as is highlighted over here internal support to the tissue so that it is rather solid and rigid and does not collapse under the microtome blade embedding on the contrary is also a form of support but i would rather call it external support which provides mechanical addition and at the same time it aids us in cutting the sections it can be by various media which we shall be seeing repeatedly so please do understand that impregnation and embedding are two different terms first we shall see what impregnation means it is a process involving the placement of tissue in a medium that will fill all the natural cavities even the interconstituent space of the cell the tree places the clearing agent and terminates with the making of a block 
beautiful words so you find that the tissue is completely being replaced by a solid medium and it becomes a block it provides a support to the tissue so that there is no injury to it when there is section cutting and it also allows thin sections to be cut without altering the relationship between the cells and the tissue beautiful words very beautiful so after all what is the architecture it is the relationship of one part of a tissue or a slide to another so that is being well maintained imagine this particular one we are not going into the histological diagnosis per se but i find that there is some external skin or something and there is a papillary growth and also i find that there are cracks and crevices obviously this fellow will be friable and brittle so there are spaces to be filled externally and also within the cell at the same time the friability will have to be taken care of and the entire texture maintained so that we see a thin section which is a mirror image of the entire specimen again for your comments here it is obviously a lymph node once i say a lymph node you people can make out the areas of necrosis so there is tc material caseous necrosis to us it appears very simple but when a section cutting is going to go on you find that there will be different forces on the different components of the organ and therefore there is likelihood of artifactual changes all these are taken care of at the same time they are all well preserved the brain nobody needs to mention at all we all know what is the great difficulty of fixation of the brain which will be asked. so it is one thing that we will have to take care of totally different and this is what we had seen and imagine this particular tissue these pictures are from web path and i am able to see the cortico medullary differentiation there is a huge tumor which has got multiple cystic spaces areas of hemorrhage and obviously as a pathologist we would like to give multiple from these areas and so you find that there will be different types of tissue of different textures etc which should be more or less be made physically uniform so that the section cutting is plausible what are the methods of impregnation usually you find that the oven that is going to be used will be having a temperature of about 54 to 60 degrees centigrade the melting point of the wax is about 54 to 56 that is usually mentioned on the container it is electrically heated or gas heated there are two methods of this heating earlier people were using what is called as a gas heating method but then there was a colossal accident after which the gas method was done away with so please do remember there are two methods of heating one is electrical method other is a gas method and the gas method is not being used because of a major explosion and you will have to have an additional oven at a temperature of 37 degrees centigrade for drying so this is another mode of embedding we shall be coming to it wax is poured and it is compressed it is a wax container under vacuum you find that more of the tissue will be fed with molten wax what is the time of impregnation as i told you impregnation means you are pushing the wax molten wax into the tissue that will depend on the size of the tissue so it will be taking about say a millimeter of it or 2 millimeters will take nearly an hour of impregnation and of course it is from all sides so it will take 6 to 8 hours for the impregnation to be complete the type of tissue some tissues you find will require more amount of wax some such as bone etc will be requiring more amount of time the clearing agent that is being used after all we will have to remove the clearing agent so that the wax 
impregnates in its place. And to hasten the process, a vacuum embedding oven can be thick tissues obviously will take more time. And when there is more clearing agent, all has to be removed. Therefore, there has to be different changes of wax. Sometimes the wax can get crystallized and it can lead to hindrance. Dense tissue such as the bone will be taking more time than the lung. Hemorrhagic tissue also will take more time and it becomes brittle. Therefore, less time will have to be given to it. So these are the different size of the tissue, the type, the clearing agent and so on. Paraffin wax per se. All of us know that whenever you are asked what is the embedding media or the impregnation, we all say paraffin wax. So the reference is from culling. It is a reliable source, but it should be free of dust. So whenever we order, not that this company should be followed, there are Merck and other companies, you people can choose. It should be free of dust, grit, and foreign matter. And also remember that water will be crystallizing and there are methods of removing the water, but it is best said that the wax itself be replaced. The wax will be heated, it is filtered, and from which you find new wax blocks can be made. Or sometimes they give a huge slice of wax block that can be broken and melted and filtered, finally we make use of it. Please note this one, I have mentioned it as paraffin wax, Saracen. This is the usual question. Wax by itself is quite hard. The saracen helps us to soften it and ribbon sections are possible. Always in any of these wax containers, there will be a melting point that should be noted. There are different types of wax according to culling. Two methods or two ways of classifying it will be one is the hard wax, other is the soft wax. Hard wax. The melting point is 60 degrees, soft wax is 45 degrees. Generally, a combination is used. But some people say that for research purpose and all, some tissue oil process in hard wax, some in soft wax, etc. But this is impractical, uneconomical, and there will be a lot of errors. So it is not possible. Instead, you can add some additives such as beach wax, which will help to lower the harden capacity of it. Easier for section cutting and it improves the impregnation. So remember that there are different types of wax, different meltings of wax. One can be added on to another so as to improve the texture. This is one of the first steps. So after the processing is on, there's a tissue capsule over here. The tissue will be within, you find that there is a filter paper over here, like material that can be used for covering it. There is a sponge, and that is used to remove all the watery material. And it is there in a tissue capsule. And what we will do is we'll be taking this and proceeding with the embedding of it or the impregnation. After the impregnation, this is what we people do. There's a biopsy bag that is there. And this is one of the methods of the automatic tissue processor. I shall be explaining it to you people. Earlier things used to be very manual. Now you find that automatic processors are available. What are the techniques of impregnation? You blot the tissue, you clear the agent, that is, and take it to wax. The wax will be coming in open containers or copper pot and they are kept in hot air oven at a temperature of 56 degrees centigrade. Normally you find for impregnation, you will be having 25 to 50 times the volume of the tissue. Supposing all the tissue put together, if it is going to be about 10, the volume has to be 250 ml. It has to be changed repeatedly, one to three times. And the first wax is discarded. How do I remember this? Number of times, discarding, etc. How do I remember? Please remember this. A man had three wives. Among the three wives, when the first is divorced, the second becomes the first. So the first paraffin wax is discarded, the second becomes first, third becomes second, waiting for its turn. 
so this is again another place which students of today never go near the hot air oven which is actually the boss of the laboratory used by many a department and here you have got look at the parts they may ask you what are the parts are there is a thermometer to gauge the temperature there is a double insulated wall that is available multiple shelves or aluminium racks are available there is a regulator for the temperature and a timer is also available so that i told you that some time has to be given so if this can issue a kind of a warning bell or it can get switched off on its own and there is also a regulator for the thing with this i will be able to adjust the temperature over here and there is of course a main switch when i go home i'll at obviously switch off all the gadgets and then go otherwise i'll be facing a different kind of music and coming to the functioning of the hot air oven look what is over here there is a heat exhaust and there is a mode of inlet and there are the electric coils at the bottom just like a refrigerator you find that there will be the increased temperature in a refrigerator there is a lowering temperature which gets related and all the panels they share the heat over here and the temperature is maintained and these shelves also can be removed supposing you are having a large jar probably one can be removed it is a corollary of the refrigerator but only thing it is hot that is cold and this again it old wine and new bottle the same hot air oven very well packed and made colorful obviously will be buying this this is the automatic tissue processor i shall be going to it in detail but just then to show there are two containers which have got a different temperature regulation which will be having the molten paraffin wax the others are for the various other reagents and the functioning of the histokinate i shall be explaining in detail in one of the other class remember that these two or three changes will be there for paraffin there is another material called as a wax embedding mesh so there will be the molten paraffin and the tissue is placed there is a kind of a compression and i find that it goes inside and a wax block is being produced so this is a paraffin reservoir over here which can go and then there is a vacuum that is over here creating an additional pressure ultimately you get a tissue block or a wax block and after that it is kept on a cold plate and the temperature would suffice earlier we used to just keep it in cold water what is happening over here i would like you to compare the left and the right i would go to the right first these are called the leucard cell pieces they are used for mainly embedding impregnation is a process where the tissue is just kept within the capsule in molten wax but after removing it see what is over here there is a piece of tissue and then these are the l pieces because they create an air tight chamber and air tight chamber so that the wax will not spill out at the same time you find that they are l shaped so that the size can be altered according to the size of the tissue it is going to be a small biopsy obviously a small sphere is sufficient if it is going to be a large piece of tissue that you are given a larger rectangle will have to be created and after that what we do is i shall be showing there is another method also you find that this is used for the wax you find that the wax is here and then the tissue is kept after which it gets solidified it can be very easily removed and look at this one this is a block holder and this is a block which is having a piece of tissue that can be fixed on to the microtome section cutting goes on this is what i had said normally what we will do is i should you have two forces please go and see what your technician is doing or a pointer so this is one look at this this can be used for heating so the wax gets heated and there is a hole that is created initially wax is poured it gets solidified immediately therefore it has to be heated and there is a hole that is created and using another force which is not hot 
the tissue is caught and it is dipped inside and that particular process is called as embedding i am embedding the tissue in a bed of wax so this is embedding impregnation is something totally different please do not mix the two and you know the advantages of the leucad cell pieces usually they are made up of brass nowadays we are having other material also such as aluminium alloy that can be used here it's a original design so the top will be having chromium plated material in which the wax can be poured and that will be coming down that is a negative pressure and it is used for embedding that is over here and the same thing in color there is a wax dispenser there is a force of for a warmer the tissue warmer is kept over here and there is a hot plate and a cold plate for cooling after the process is over wax dispenser paraffin wax is one of the most common things that can be used the advantages are given over here found by a person called as carl rishenberg in 1830 please do remember that all of this were not created for human pathology but for botany zoology and other subjects it is quite hard by its own because chemical nature there is a hard paraffin there is a soft paraffin which is used mainly for ointments and vaseline and as i told you there is another company merck i hope the words are not very disturbing this is the reason that i can identify over here but more important is the melting point the common question that they will ask you in the exam is how do you know the melting point of wax it is written on the container and i should know and any of the container you should know what is the common company you are buying it from and whether it is pure wax in this case see it is just pure wax whereas here it is wax along with ceres what is the quantity etc so this is the source of this particular discussion so far and most commonly used the melting point we had mentioned you will have to adjust it so that it becomes somewhat say choose a melting point around 60 degrees or 56 degrees and uh, can be heated up to 60 degrees there are other substances which can be used paraplast paramat and polyvin and there can be polyester waxes so these are all some important all certain terminologies that we people should know what is carbo wax what is base wax what is paraplast etc and formalin fixed paraffin embedding ffpe what is formalin fixed paraffin embedding it is what is here i have already told you it is being done and also you remember once you cut the section the paraffin is still covering it so long as the paraffin is there the tissue is supposed to be preserved only thing the biochemical and the molecular analysis immunohistochemistry chemistry etc might decline with age so see how it is being done so there is a container wax has been poured into it by means of one of the forceps which is heated a hole is created the tissue is being put into it by using another force please be very cautious on it if you use the same force it will be charring the tissue and then it solidifies on its own the embedding process is over or some people use it in a cool container such as water or a cold plate so the main importance will be the clearing agent that to be removed and in some cases we will have to handle very delicate tissues such as the embryo i hope i have given some kind of a shape to it so this is the wax that is surrounding the tissue this is the process of embedding and it is get getting fixed to uh, either a tissue block or sometimes earlier we used a wooden chunk so wood chunk will be sufficient and care should be taken that we name it over here earlier we used to just heat this particular region and then put a small strip of paper which will be labeled in pencil all the p number etc and look at this one we will be having a spectrum of this there should not be any mix up etc 
therefore numbering will be important aligning is important so this is a embedding oven that can be used advantages there is increased amount of pressure the time can be reduced embedding after the impregnation you find that there is a mechanical support that is being made and these we had seen one important thing the orienting the specimen there is a problem usually we have it is a fallopian tube but we do not see the lumen it is an appendix but we do not see the lumen it is a specimen of a skin i do not see the epidermis so the orientation is important it has to be flatly placed so that when there is a cut with a microtome you get the entire cut section of it and these are all the various waxes which people will have to remember the paraffin wax bees wax ester wax carbo wax etc and sometimes this can be used for enzyme stochastic reduces the time this carbo wax and there are different purposes one will be just cutting sometimes we need ribbon sections what are these ribbon sections i shall be telling you people when we go to the class on the microfilm and for that there will be a soap that is added to the paraffin therefore it gets stuck to each other producing a ribbon shape section non ribbon when there is a gum or a gelatin fusion along with paraffin and evaporating mating such as celloidum celloidum is one thing that can be asked and what are the advantages and disadvantages i given it over here but i would like you to go through it the main thing is it has got a rubbery consistency and is used for hard tissue sometimes the eye it can be used for the eye i'll show you a picture of it so that it maintains the layers the disadvantage is you can get only thick sections serial sections are not possible what is the meaning of the word serial section we shall see in the microtome and the processing itself is quite slow a beautiful coat a thing of beauty is a joy forever that's what i thought its loveliness increases it never passes into nothingness beautiful super one quotes of john keats he has given many thing about many things about beauty as well as failures please go through as i said look at this normally in a slide we will not be able to see this so i need a square shaped slide which can fit your microscope but at the same time it will it is large and square shaped two slides put together will be constituting this and this is used for the eyeball obviously there is a tumor over here that has to be well preserved therefore the entire space all the empty spaces will have to be filled with it so probably celloidin is being used for it and when it is crosses with paraffin there can be an impregnation also so double impregnation double embedding etc we people should know i look at the wonderful section that has been cut by hats off to professor atnakar in hyderabad who had done an enormous work in the eye ball so this we had seen together what are the procedures one is the number numbering of the block is important in any sample the number will go till the graveyard or to the reporting room the number of pieces one will be having a malignancy one will be normal all should be in the same plane you select what kind of a mold is required and the mold is filled with wax warm forceps to melt another forceps to place and remove the block check the label these are all very important steps i would like you people to just be along with your technician he or she is a greatest teacher for you people and this is another type of material that is used polyvinyl chloride which can be used for embedding only thing it's a little costly and this is the ancient man who may believe and this used to be the mug that will be having the paraffin we used to adjust the temperature over here the mug is kept in therefore you get mol molten paraffin and that should be poured into the thing it cannot be poured on to the tissue because it is quite hot it will be destroying the tissue poured into the leucots piece or any embedding media 
and it is allowed to solidify then again you melt it by using a hot forces and this is our old friend and i'm showing only this thing there is one principle these metals are supposed to be the containers for paraffin and every time i'll be having this baskets which are having multiple holes for permeation the advantage is that the lever over here it gets lifted it will be undergoing a shift and then it is again placed down in the next set of containers with other agents so this i shall be dealing with in detail in a different class automatic tissue processing so i hope you people look at this one don't underestimate it has been serving us for centuries and ultimately we have got the wax block look at this one superbly already impregnated and then embedded in wax fixed on to a block holder and there will be a name or a label by the site and this is again a paraffin wax dispenser for heating it and adjusting it molten paraffin wax can be produced so there can be other things such as paraplast etc you people can go through this will help us in cutting ribbon sections and it is wrinkle free if the technology is too much these things you people will have to remember what are all the precautions that should be orientation that should be no tangential or a diagonal placement we should get a complete cross section punch biopsy of the skin means you'll have to bisect it even if it is small and multiple fragments they should be in the same plane aligned along with the long axis of the mold please buy hard this please buy hard this it is extremely useful for you people so got this one again on tissue block hold sometimes we have got circular rings or rectangular rings which can be used for embedding and it is used for section cutting as well and this is what we had been seeing earlier so it is a embedding machine the wax comes from up and it is being embedded over here and it is put on a cold plate for getting solidified and these are the various containers this particular media i would like you people to kindly summarize i have tried to make a list of it to the best of my effort what are the different types of waxes or the additives and what are the features of each i had mentioned it over here celloid and for example is used for eyes paraplast is used for ribbon section plastic embedding it is expensive saracen it is used for softening the paraffin wax and for cutting ribbon sections so that i have mentioned nitrocellulose for hard tissues such as etc and always we will have to order for paraffin wax with saracen look at the melting point so i hope you are able to identify what are these molds that you people have got for containing the wax how the embedding is being done what is this particular instrument it is called the free microcomb earlier there was no cryostat so this will produce a very low temperature and it will freeze the tissue freezing will produce a mechanical support almost equal to the embedding and you can use it for a rapid diagnosis as well as the enzymes disadvantages obviously no serial sections the sections will be thick it is difficult to store the sections from these so freezing is another mode of embedding that is why i am showing this double embedding means celloid and paraffin and what are all the advantages i have mentioned cohesion plasticity reduction etc vacuum embedding we have mentioned it increases the impregnation removes the air reduces the time and it can be used for some tissues such as lung and the nervous system we are coming towards the end of the class earlier i told you the story of a man having three wives okay now it is compromised he has got only two wives so many a man owes the success to his first wife and to his second wife will be all that he has made a success of therefore one actually be very grateful to and the second person is becoming very indebted that lady will be carrying on everything so 
hope you are able to identify the language of it the olympics is going on in that region thank you one and all for your patient listening